Sullivan with Asphalt Contractor Magazine. I'm here with Irvin Ducat, VP of Materials Research for Mathy Construction. We're here on County Highway H uh, near uh, Wisconsin Dells. And we're talking about a cold in place uh, recycling uh, process. And I think there's a lot of mystery about that. I yeah. mean, tell us a little bit about that as far as really what that is, is rejuvenating the base uh, layer of asphalt. Yeah, and what we have is uh, a road that has some distress to it, and the county wanted a cost-effective method of restoring the overall ride and the performance of the pavement without spending a whole lot of dollars. Okay. And they didn't want to spend money on a simple overlay because that's just putting down a band-aid over the pavement. Right. So what we do with the, the cold in place recycling is use the existing materials, as you can see, mill them up, combine them back together with a little more asphalt, put in a little bit of water so you can compact it, and then in the milling process, you're taking off the majority of the defects. Okay. And then you're putting back down a enhanced base material that has reduced your cost because you've restored it in place. You haven't taken it off to a plant and trucked it back again, so you don't have any of the mobilizing or the trucking costs. You right. know, so that, that's the first savings. The second savings in that in upgrading the material is that we're adding typically 2% asphalt back into the, the yep. asphalt. And then with the, the foaming process is that then with the water and the pavement, we get a uniform coating of all the materials. So we get a slightly better base than if you would just putting down regular base. Mm -hmm. So once that's put down, compacted, allowed to cure out, we have a very stable base platform. And as you can see, as it comes out of the paver, we have a nice smooth platform so that when we pave the asphalt on it, we can get superior ride numbers. Right, and, and by rejuvenating the existing pavement, you've, you've returned it to a more flexible yes. consistency, which again should prevent any reflective cracking that's in, in the asphalt below that, correct? That's correct, Greg. Okay. The, the mix that will go on top will have wrap in it, so it's also a sustainable mix. Okay. Um, and that will go down in, in two layers. There's a, a section on the road where it's just being pulverized. That means that they're breaking up the old road, putting it back down again, and then that's going to get four inches of the pavement. Okay. It doesn't quite have the same structural support as the, the cold in place recycling does. And then this section of pavement will get two lifts of 12 and a half millimeter mix placed at an inch and three quarters per lift.